The reason we do science experiments is to find out more about the world around us and how we can make it better for everyone. We also have a science faction show that does this kind of stuff. You should check it out. Without experimenting, we would never have discovered electricity, telephones, your best friend's sexuality, medicines, but sometimes humanity takes it way, 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 way too far. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Michael McCrudden, and welcome back to the most amazing top five, where we break down the world into crazy top five lists. Before we begin, I want to know what was your favorite science experiment when you were in school? I got to cut open some frogs, and I really loved it. But one kid took them home to eat them. That kid was weird. Let's jump into our list with the top five scariest science experiments on humans. In the number five spot, we have the Stanford Prison Experiment. This experiment is probably one of the most famous and one of the most chilling experiments in the field of psychology. It was run by a psychiatrist named Philip Zimbardo in the 70s, and its purpose was to see how individuals adapt to their environment and assigned roles. 12 participants were given the role of prisoners, while the other 12 were given the roles of guards. What started out as innocent role play quickly turned into people taking their jobs way too seriously. The guards became abusive and sadistic towards the prisoners, and the experiment could only last for 6 of the 14 planned days. Yeah, they really let it go to their heads, and sadism is definitely not a good thing. Doesn't smell good either. Up next in the number 4 spot is Emma Eckstein. In the late 19th century, Emma was a patient of the famed psychotherapist Sigmund Freud who went to the doctor for help with her stomach problems and mild depression. <coughs> and apparently my mild, you know, frog in my throat. What she received was experimental treatment for hysteria and excessive masturbation, which back then was taken as a sign of severe mental illness. Boy, am I glad these times have changed. Now, Freud believed these symptoms would go away if he cauterized Emma's nose, which essentially means melting the flesh inside. Why he thought her nose had something to do with her busy hands, I got no idea. Emma was left with a horrible infection and was severely disfigured, and yet she let him treat her for another three years. Something's not quite right with this relationship. I guess she was just so lonely, she's like, at least someone's talking to me. Moving on to number three spot, we have radioactive pregnancies. Right after World War II, with the fear of the coming Cold War, chemical warfare was on the minds of all Americans. To test how fast radioactive isotopes could cross a fetal placenta, experiments at Vanderbilt University recruited over 800 pregnant women and gave them what they called a vitamin drink, which was actually radioactive iron, ethics at its finest. What followed was a hell of a lot of cancer, anemia, and death, not just to the unborn children, but to the mothers as well. Not sure what else they were expecting. Aren't scientists supposed to be smart people and good people? Next up at number two is testicle transplants. Leo Stanley was the head doctor at the San Quentin prison from 1913 to 1951, and he had a brilliant idea. And by brilliant, I mean really messed up, in case you haven't gotten that yet. He believed that people committed crimes because their testosterone levels were low, and in order to reduce criminal activity, testosterone needed to be restored. And he did this by transplanting the testicles of recently executed prisoners onto the ones still alive. And when he ran out of human parts, he moved on to animals. Yeah. Having goat balls attached to me unwillingly definitely makes me feel less likely to punch someone in the face. Although I would go for elephant balls. Nah, that'd be too much. Finally, in the number one spot, we have Nazi experiments. During the Holocaust, Nazi Germany did a lot of horrific things, but one of the most terrifying things to go down was the human experimentation. They conducted a crap load of chemical tests, exposed people to illnesses, sketchy bones and nerve transplants, anything out of a horror movie, you name it, they did it. They even sewed twins together in an attempt to create create man-made conjoined twins. The only good thing to have come out of all these disturbing experiments was the Nuremberg Code of Medical Ethics, a code to make sure things like this never ever happened again. Although those conjoined twins, if you're still out there, give me a call. So there you have it, the top five scariest science experiments on humans. My name is Michael McCrath. Thanks for checking out this channel. If you like this video, we do all sorts of crazy top fives. So be sure to browse around, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. And I was just kidding about the conjoined twins. Although, they're probably separated. I would date twins. I mean, two for one, right? Okay, bye.